In this video, I'm talking about the most common cause of dizziness, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, otherwise known as BPPV, coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and Founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Have you ever gotten dizzy by making a sudden head movement like rolling out of bed in the morning and then you have to sit there on the edge of the bed and wait for that dizziness to go away? If you have, then you may have actually had BPPV. BPPV is one of the most common causes of dizziness, and it makes you feel like you're on one of those rides at a kid's park that spins around really fast, and then you get off and you're walking around and you're so super dizzy you just need to sit down. That's the feeling that you get, but you get that feeling by just doing a head movement. BPPV stands for benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Now let's go ahead and break those down a little bit. Benign basically means that the dizziness won't kill you. Paroxysmal means that the dizziness is of short nature or it comes in little bursts. Positional means that it's caused by head movement or different body movements. And vertigo basically means the sensation of movement when you're not actually moving. The inner ear consists of the cochlea, which is responsible for hearing, and the vestibular system, which is comprised of three semicircular canals, the utricle and the saccule, which are all responsible for balance. BPPV occurs when crystals, called otoconia, normally embedded in the utricle, become dislodged and migrate out to one of the three fluid-filled semicircular canals. These crystals do not belong in these semicircular canals. As head positions change, these crystals stimulate the sensory hair cells inside the semicircular canals, which sends false information to the brain, which leads to the sensation of dizziness. BPPV is the most common cause of vertigo, with 50% of individuals over the age of 70 experiencing this type of dizziness in their lifetime. The symptoms of BPPV can often include very brief episodes of dizziness, which can last anywhere between a few seconds and a few minutes. It also may get bad enough to where you feel a little bit nauseous, and you may actually even vomit. You also may experience unsteadiness on your feet, so go ahead and just make sure you sit down. It is also very important to understand that hearing loss is not a symptom of BPPV. So if you are experiencing hearing loss and dizziness, you need to schedule an appointment with your physician right away. The symptoms of BPPV can come and go and you may actually feel entirely symptom free as long as you keep your head relatively steady and you don't do any sudden head movements. The good news is that the diagnosis and treatment of BPPV is relatively simple as long as you go to a physician or an audiologist who specializes in diagnosis and treatment of dizzy conditions. In these videos, Dr. Richard Gans from the American Institute of Balance demonstrates some of the positional movements used for the diagnosis of BPPV. By visualizing involuntary eye movements called nystagmus, he can diagnose if a patient has BPPV or if additional testing is required. Once he identifies the affected ear or ears, he can begin treatment called canalith repositioning, which he also demonstrates in this video. This technique is designed to move the dislodged crystals back into the utricle. If done correctly, treatment can be extremely effective. There are a variety of repositioning techniques, but none of them should be completed without the assistance of someone specifically trained in how to use these techniques properly. For more information on the American Institute of Balance, visit their website at www.dizzy.com. Just remember, trying to diagnose and treat BPPV on your own may lead to improper diagnosis, and self-treatment done the wrong way can actually make it worse. So the next time that you experience a brief spell of intense dizziness after a sudden head movement or a body position change, make sure that you contact your physician right away to see if you actually have BPPV. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.